Hi, in this video, I will cover um, the marketplace settings and I will show you what each input out here means and what uh, what effect does it have. So um, without wasting any time, let's uh, jump straight into it. So uh, if you see by default, any strategy will be uh, set as a public will be set as a private strategy. So uh, in order to explain the difference between a public strategy and a private strategy is that a private strategy will always have this selected as no. So when someone selects this as no uh, by default, um, if someone is uh, if, if you share the link of this strategy, which is out here, if you share the link of this strategy with anyone else, this person will not be able to access your strategy because this is built as a private strategy. So I will just share a uh, like just uh, simulate this. So I will just click on this link and you can see the person is not uh, not going to uh, going to the particular strategy even though I am selecting the link he is just redirected to the website the home page of the website so um, uh, using this uh, you can if when you select no this ensures that only you have access to this particular strategy now if you select yes this means that anyone who is uh, who has the who has this link of your strategy can now uh, request you for a subscription so uh, if i select update out here and now if i open a new uh, incognito window and i select this uh, link you can see that the strategy page has appeared so once this strategy page has appeared someone can now click on subscribe you need to remember that this this link can be uh, can be uh, used by anyone in order to subscribe to your strategy so anyone on the internet will be able to uh, find this link um, or you this this link can be shared by uh, by your friends or family to anyone they like and then they can subscribe to your strategy so uh, this strategy will be uh, hidden to the masses but whoever has this link will be able to access uh, the the subscription uh, version of this strategy Now, uh, if you see, um, uh, if you see, uh, subscribe with uh, publish to marketplace. So when you when you select publish to marketplace, this means that now the strategy is available to anyone uh, on the marketplace. So if anyone looks for the name of the strategy, so I'll just quickly copy the name and I will paste it here on the marketplace page. So anyone who's on the marketplace and searches for your uh, strategy will now be able to find your strategy. It's not giving me a button to subscribe because I am the owner of the strategy. So uh, if someone else looks for the strategy, they'll get a button to subscribe as well. Um, uh, with that said, um, once your strategy is published on the marketplace, you can now decide a fee. So um, you can you can decide a fee of uh, which can be on a monthly basis, a fixed fee, like let's say 100 rupees, or it could be a variable fee, like let's say 5% on the profit that is generated. Um, uh, you can select a model where it is either a fixed fee only, in which case you will select variable fee as zero, or it is only a vari variable variable fee, wherein your fixed fee will be uh, set as zero, or you can select a combination of both. So uh, it could be, let's say, a 100 rupee fixed fee along with a variable fee. This is completely upon your, uh, your discretion and how you want to price your own algo strategy. Uh, after this, you will see something as minimum and maximum uh, maximum multiple. So if you uh, if you build a strategy which takes trades in one lot, so as you can see out here, I've built a strategy which trades in one lot. Um, you can select your minimum multiplier. So my minimum multiplier for for trading would be one x because uh, because below one lot you cannot trade in in the stock markets um, for uh, futures and options. Similarly, you can keep a maximum multiplier. Now maximum multiplier is generally kept by some creators who want to offer um, offer their strategy for uh, for uh, for a trial for for users uh, who are trading up to let's say one or two lots so um, a lot of people have uh, have the same strategy as multiple uh, duplicates so a lot of people have uh, have a differential pricing um, for for people uh, for their uh, subscribers so this differential pricing would be where if if someone is is using the strategy between one to five lots in that case that person would be only having a variable fee or it could be completely free for that person if that person is using it between let's say um, uh, above five lots like let's say from five to let's say ten lots in that case, they would have something like a variable fee of let's say 5%. And if that person uh, uh, wants to use it anything above 10 lots, 
in that case, um, uh, that that person would have to pay a, a fixed fee. So uh, something like this can be done so that you can make uh, optimal use of your uh, particular uh, strategy. In order to have the price slabs, you will of course have to make three different duplicates of the same strategy. One will have let's say a minimum of 1x to 5x, then it will be 6x to let's say, let's say 10x and the third would have something like uh, uh, minimum as, te uh, as 10x or 11x and maximum as 100x. So something like this can also be used. Um, now you will see something, something like display positions to non-subscribers. This means that when someone is on your strategy. Um, out here at the bottom you will see the trades that are uh, taken in the strategy so if you select uh, if you select um, yes out here then all the trades that have been taken even if that person is not a subscriber will be visible out here um, if you select no then the trades will not be visible um, similarly you can uh, select your invoice frequency most people uh, keep it as as on a monthly basis but you can always select on a quarterly yearly or uh, bi yearly basis um, now there's one option called allow others to duplicate. So uh, when you select yes for allowing others to duplicate and you update the strategy. You will now see uh, that if someone now uh, just opens the link of your strategy. In that case that person will get one option as duplicate. And when that person clicks on duplicate option, the entire same strategy that you have built will be uh, available for this person to duplicate. So this is about uh, the duplicate option out here. Um, uh, if you want to transfer your strategy from one account to the other, you can use uh, this, this uh, method in order to uh, allow others to duplicate and you go to your other account and then you can uh, duplicate your strategy from there. Uh, this recreate for uh, recreate old positions for new subscribers is currently disabled. So this will not really make a difference if you select yes or no. Um, now you see confirm each subscriber manually. So let's assume you want to uh, only allow a certain select group of people for your strategy. You can select this as yes. When you select it as yes, you will uh, whenever sub someone uh, clicks on subscribe to your strategy, you will get a message like this. So Traitron will send you an email. Um, once you receive that email, you can either click on approve or deny. So when you click on approve, only then that person will be uh, will, will be allowed to subscribe to your strategy. So in hide subscribers from others, uh, when you select this as yes, you will see that uh, this entire sub subscribers page will vanish. So you will not be able to, uh, no one will be able to see who exactly are your subscribers so that you can add a layer of privacy to your uh, strategy. I hope this video helped you understand a little bit about marketplace settings. If you have any further questions or suggestions on what you want us to implement, feel free to drop us an, a mail at support at the rate of Thank you very much.